Good evening. Welcome to Canaan Baptist Church, where everybody is somebody in Christ is all. I'm Minister Steve Thomas. Bishop Ronald K. Harris is our presiding pastor. We want to welcome to you our Wednesday night Bible study. Again, we want to bring some type of normalcy back into your everyday worship experience and continue to learn in your development and growth in God's Word. I, along with all of my fellow uh, ministers, will be facilitating the lessons uh, throughout the upcoming weeks. And we ask that you continue to join us in that study session as we get together and expound upon God's Word in such a way and in such a fashion to bring some type of clarity and understand into what it is that God is trying to say to us all. We thank you. Welcome we welcome once again to Canaan Baptist Church, where our pastor, Richard Ronald K. Harris, is the, the pastor of our church. Welcome to the Wednesday night Bible study. I just want to take this time and opportunity to, to uh, inform each and every one of us that we are still practicing our social distancing, washing our hands, wearing our masks, to ensure that we uh, follow all the guidelines that CDC has published for us. We want to make sure that we continue to do all those things that we uh, need to do to keep us safe here while we're in the church, while we're at home, while we're at work, everywhere we go. We want to make sure we follow all those guidelines to continue to do right. Once again, we just want to be able to uh, Expound upon or continue our, our study of expounding upon God's word during these uh, a harsh or hard or different times, shall I say, uh, to continue on doing what God has asked and requires us to do. Let us start off with a word of devotion this uh, of this evening. God, me. Thank you for all that you continue to do in our lives each and every day. 
Lord, we thank you for reaching down in the well and filling us with that joy, that love, that understanding and kindness that you allow us to run from heart to heart and breast to breast. Touch our minds, our souls, and our spirits, Father, that to keep us rooted in your word, Father. Help us to be obedient to your word and that we stay fast and continue to look to the hills in which all of our blessings are given to us Daily, Father. Yes. Father, have yes. mercy upon our soul. Yes. All the yes. sins that we have committed in this yes. vessel down here in this world, yes. Father. For we know that one day, one, one day, day, Lord, when you return, Father, yes. you will raptor us all up and call us back into heaven with you. Yes. Father, until such time, we ask you to strengthen us while we're down here. Now, yes. yes. hold on, continue to do thy yes. will. Yes. Father, these and all the many blessings we humbly ask and pray. And none other than our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. May we all say amen, 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 amen. 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 Once again, we have another dynamic lesson to be taught to us on this evening. Yes. Going to be brought to us by none other than one of our other dynamic ministers we have on the staff here that we want to be able to bring this message to you. Right. So without further ado, I want you to put your hands together and welcome to Mr. <coughs> Minister Loretta Thomas is going to come Amen. and bring and deliver the message to us on this evening. Amen. Let's give her a warm welcome. Amen. 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 God is good. Yes, he is. All the time. All, All the time. time. It's another day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. yes. Giving honor to God. To our pastor in his absence, Bishop Ronald K. Harris, to all my ministers, to the deacons and all of our auxiliaries, to our church family, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to stand before you today to give you the word of God. Amen. Amen. I thank and praise God for Bishop Harris giving us another opportunity Amen. to be able to teach the word. I ask that the Lord will expound on the word, yes. and he would open our eyes and our spiritual ears that we might be able to hear his word yes. and know what he's saying to the church yes. and to his people Amen. and those that are sinners as well. Amen. Today, um, our lesson is going to come out of Romans 6, 1 through 23. And I'm not going to read it in its entirety, but you have your Bibles mm -hmm. in your time. You can... Um, read it for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll be hitting on some points of it, so therefore, um, it won't be the entire ver um, verse of uh, Romans 6, 1 through 23. Uh -huh. uh -huh. in, in Romans 6, um, 23, it reads, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized in Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into the death, like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so, we also walk in newness of life. Paul was addressing the Romans while preaching to them about obedience and holiness in faith. Paul thought that he needed to talk to them about justification and sanctification because of those that were denouncing the doctrine of ju justification by faith. He didn't want them to think that their good works would save them, and their evil works would, would condemn them. In our text, call us to decide. So if I had to make a, uh, give it a, a title, I would say, what is your choice? Mm -hmm. right. What choice would you make? Mm -hmm. So what is your choice? Mm -hmm. every, every day, each one of us is confronted with choices that somehow affects us in our lives Amen. in a large way. Amen. For example, the speed limit says 45, mm -hmm. but we choose to do 55, 65, sometimes even 70. Mm -hmm. 
We made a choice, but we didn't follow the rule. So we risked the, the option of someone being in an accident, mm -hmm. someone getting hurt, and even the law, the judgment of the law. We even had choices to listen to our pastor, mm -hmm. our parents, mm -hmm. our friends, mm -hmm. and our families. They often give us advice. Mm -hmm. We have a choice. Mm -hmm. We can weigh it, mm -hmm. determine whether we're going to take their advice or not. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do, mm -hmm. and sometimes we don't. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have a choice. Mm -hmm. So Paul is telling them they have a choice. And in, in verse 1 through 2, Paul says, Paul asks a question, and he answers it. Shall, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Mm -hmm. Just because where we're sin abounds and grace superabounds, we the believer is not automatically given a license to continue in sin. All right. All right. On the contrary, a mature outstanding of justification by faith leads us to believe, to appreciate God's grace so that the end result is obedience to God out of our heart filled with gratitude. Paul shows that he was appalled by them even thinking that they had a choice once they accepted Christ. Right. He is at a mere suggestion of continue in, continuing in sin. Once we have experienced the grace of God, sin can no longer make a legal claim on us, us as believers. We are dead to sin. Mm -hmm. To die unto sin means that we are dead to the guilt of sin. We, we are viewed by God as if we were ourselves had died that fateful death on the cross. Mm -hmm. He goes on to set his analogy of master and slave. He gives an example. He, no, I'm sorry. Let us give us, let me give you an example of what I was talking about. If I used to go, I used to go to the bar and I like listening to music and eating the free popcorn, and I like dancing, so, but I'm not drinking. But if I continue to go after I done gave that up, if I decide and I go back, because somebody said, come on, let's go, if I decide to keep going back, eventually I'm going to do the thing that I used to do. I haven't changed, and I have, I have a choice. I have the choice to continue to do the right thing or go back into where I used to be and do the things that I used to do that I know that wasn't right. So what choice do I make? A, a, a monkey can carry a banana to the store every day. He keep carrying that banana to the store. He don't touch it. But one day, that monkey gonna get look at that banana and he's going to eat that banana because he can't keep doing that because he know he likes that. <laughs> so you don't give the monkey the banana to carry to the store because you know the monkey going to eat the banana. Mm -hmm. So you, he has, you have a choice. Don't give the monkey the banana. Take the banana yourself. You have a choice mm -hmm. because we know the, bananas, the monkey's going to eat the banana. Yes, yes. That's us. Yes. We keep doing something that we, we go back doing something with others our friends mm -hmm. that can pull us mm -hmm. because we love them, we think that we have to do it, but you don't. You have a choice. We have a choice. We need to make a choice. Either we're going to live for God or we're not. Amen. It's not saying that you get rid of your friends. No, you continue to pray for your friends and you're even around. He said we're in the world, but not of the world. Amen. So that, I'm not saying that you got to leave your friends because you had them before you got saved. So you're praying for them so they can come where you are. Amen. The same is true when we present ourselves as being available to God. We are doing it with our eyes wide open. Satan cannot force the will, and God will not force your will either. We have to yield to God 
to choose a good choice of nature and not act in our own nature. James 1.13 says, let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. Right. For God cannot right. be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. That's right. Paul comes back and say, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Grace is not a get out of free card. It's not a get out of free sin card. Grace is what empowers us mm -hmm. to not to sin, not to and it strengthens us to refrain from sinning. Yeah. God's grace offers forgiveness yeah. that does not mean that you can just go on doing whatever you want to do. Talking about God knows my heart. Uh -huh. We hear that all the time. Yes. God knows my heart. <laughs> He's going to forgive me. Yes. But how many times do we have to say God knows my heart? Yes, he does know our heart. He knows what we're going to do before we even do it. But we consciously know what we're doing too. So That's we right. have a choice to know to do the right thing. That's right. Or do the wrong thing. That's right. The devil didn't make you do it. Uh -huh. You did it because you wanted to do it. Uh -huh. So we have a choice. Mm -hmm. So what choice do we make? Mm -hmm. Do we make a choice to live for God or do we make a choice to live for the devil? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a choice every day. When we wake up in the morning, Lord, lead me, guide me. Yes. yes. Because if you don't lead me, Lord, I will go That's astray. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have choices. Mm -hmm. And we talk, we talk to God. Whenever you want to do, talking about God knows my heart, Forgive me. No, it doesn't work that way. We have choices to make. In Romans chapter 7, Paul says, when I would do good, evil is always present. I bet we can call, uh, call all unto understand what Paul was talking about right there. I don't know what to give into sin or temptation. I try to do the right thing, but the wrong thing is always hanging out next to me. All right. We still have a choice to make. Nobody mm -hmm. says it's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. He told us that we would be tempted. Mm -hmm. We will have trials and tribulations. Right. Things will come up against us. But he never told us that if we pick up this cross, he said, when you pick up this cross and follow me, mm -hmm. You have a choice. Mm -hmm. You're going to be tempted. The trials are going to come, but you got to learn how to stand. Yes. Amen. So we have a choice. All right. God promised us it is more powerful than our promise to him. Mm -hmm. We may struggle with sin, but it will not and shall not have dominion over us. Mm -hmm. What then? Can, can we be stronger and oppose the sin except to love of God? 1 Thessalonians 5.21 says, Prove all things, hold fast, that which is good, mm -hmm. abstain from all appearance of evil. Evil is present on every hand. That's right. That's right. Every hand. Some people say it's on every corner, but I bet the difference is it's in your house, it's on the, in, in the street, it's everywhere you go. Evil is present everywhere. So we have to denounce that demon, yes. that evil demon that yes. will come up and try to possess our people mm -hmm. and possess us. Mm. Paul uses another analogy as a master in verses through 16 through 19 when he says, master and slave relationship is in conjunction with the everyday choices we make. He said the reason he used a master and slave is because it was easier for them to understand. But in today's world, this not might be easy for us to understand because slavery is no longer in existence here in America. At least that's what they say. When a slave was passed in ownership from one master to another, the old master's authority became to an end. So when you got a new master, there were new rules. All right. So the old master couldn't tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with, with sin. When you decide to make a choice, you said your old master was the devil. Mm -hmm. Our new master is the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So that's our choice. Now, 
Do we slip and fall? Yes, we do. We all have not arrived. He's working on us every day. Every day we have a choice that we have to make. No one is perfect. That's right. If anyone tell you they're perfect, they died and went to heaven. They must be sitting on the right hand or the left hand of Jesus Christ. They're not perfect. They're not perfect. None of us are perfect. They said we will not know that until we reach the Father. So no one is perfect. And we all make mistakes. We all come up against something every now and then. But they said when your brother or sister falls, when such a one falls, you're supposed to pick them up. Yeah, that's right. Not step that's on them. That's right. But you're that's supposed right. to pray for them that they are restored back to that's right. where they were. Yeah. Because we all have fallen away from God once in a yeah. time or another. Yeah. We were serving yeah. him and something happened and we slipped yeah. and we went back and we yeah. but for he brought us back. Yes. Yeah. He's married to the backslider. Yes, he is. We pray for those that don't know him, that mm -hmm. they come to know him, that they make a choice that we make. Yes. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy to make a choice. Mm -hmm. We struggled. Mm -hmm. We fought it. Mm -hmm. We yes. kept on fighting. Yes. Some of us still fighting. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yet, we made a choice. Yes. Yes. yes, We made a choice. God is looking for his people yes. to repent. Mm -hmm. Pray, mm -hmm. worship, mm -hmm. be humble, yes. and do what we say we're going to do. Come on, yes. Yes. There is so much work yes. in this land today. Oh, yes. yes, it is. Our nation mm. is in a turmoil right now. Yes. And it's calling for a revival for the saints yes, to is. pray, mm -hmm. to fast and pray, mm -hmm. to humble themselves, mm -hmm. to be obedient to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Making a choice. Mm -hmm. We have a choice. Just think about the people that don't have a choice. Uh, they can't worship God the way they want to. Mm -hmm. They can't even go to the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Everybody's complaining that they can't go to the church. Mm -hmm. The church is in you. Mm -hmm. You the are the church. That's right. So if you knew God, mm -hmm. you're not worried about the building. That's right. That's right. Because you have a choice. Yes. When you had the choice to come to church, did you come to church? Yes. But now that the church doors are closed because of this COVID, now you want to go to church. You realize how important it was to come hear the word of God. You still can hear the word of God. You still can hear the word of God. Open up your Bibles. Start reading it every day. He gives you a word every day. He gives you a choice every day. He tells you what you should do. He gives you instruction. This is our instruction. The house, the building is not our instruction. We get our instruction when you wake up in the morning. He gives you a choice when you wake up. Yeah. I woke you up this morning with a choice. What choice are you going to choose today? All right. All right. That's right. He gives us choices. Yes. Do we always follow God's choice? No. no. But you know what? He gives us a chance to repent. That's right. Yeah. And start all over again. Mm -hmm. When you fall down, don't stay down. Yes. Get back up That's right. and try again. That's That's right. Right. Yes, yes. Amen. He's Amen. a gracious God. Yes, he He's a forgiving God. Yes, yes. He loves us in spite of ourselves. Yes. Some of us ain't worth it, but he loves us anyway. We can't even love the people that then that is our family, our friends, our neighbors, or whatever. We're so good and so holy that we can't even pray for that's come next on. door to us come on, come because on. we're better than yeah. we got more than they do all they pour up. no those are the ones that you're supposed to pray for those are the ones you're supposed to go help not your friends that are already sitting on a cow of hill come on, come on. but the ones that are down in the valley yeah. trying to get there yeah. they might have more God than we do come on, come on. so you better be careful mm -hmm. Of the choices you make That's right. yes. and the choices of people you pick All right. you might be picking the wrong people That's right. because the ones that you're not picking might be those angels that god dispatched around yes. to break yes. them, yes. and you don't even know it yes. All right. don't look down on anybody That's right. come on. Come on. we all 
We all need Jesus. Yeah. We all need his grace. Yes. We all need his mercy. Yes. Yes. He gives us a choice. Yes, he does. Thank you, Lord. For my conclusion, have you ever watched Let's Make a Deal? <laughs> well, you have, in Let's Make a Deal, you have three curtains. <laughs> You have curtain number one, mm -hmm. curtain number two, mm -hmm. and curtain number three. Come on. So they give you a choice which curtain you want to pick. You can pick the curtain that had the, you don't even know what's behind the curtain, but sometimes it might be a boat or whatever. It might be some electronical stuff here, and then it might be a zonker. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have nothing, mm -hmm. you lose. But I ask you, what deal would you take? Mm -hmm. I promise you, if you live for Christ, that will be your best deal. Amen. Mm -hmm. For with him is everlasting life. Yeah. If you want to live on the other side, you're not promised nothing but the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. But if you live for Christ, he gives you eternal life. Yeah. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, we must all ask God for forgiveness of our sins. And you know what? He will forgive us. Yes, he will. Because he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins. And he is the best choice today. Yes. So as we take our thoughts captive, freedom with the results, we will be free and have abundant life. It's all about what choice we have. Continue in sin or not, or to accept Christ and continue with him today. There's a song that says, some folk would rather have houses and land. Some folk choose silver than gold. These things they treasure and forget about their souls, right. but I would rather have make Jesus my choice. Yes, so yes. what choice are you making today? What choice? Thank you so yes. much for your time. Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Tom, for bringing us another fine lesson on the Sometimes we got to look at them choices yeah, when they yeah, make like that. You know what yeah. You can make that wrong one, you be on the wrong path, going in the wrong direction. Sometimes it puts you in mind, you know, when you're, when you're traveling on down the road, and you're depending on them GPS things. But you always had a GPS sitting in the chair next to it. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep on going with it. We want to thank each and every one for you, for God, for tuning in with us on this Wednesday night. I want you to come back and, and, and tune in and, and, and view with us again on uh, next Wednesday night as well. We're going to continue to try to feed you God's word each and every day. To help augment what you're already doing at home each and every day. Yeah. So we just want you to continue to know that we love you, that we are continue to keep your concerns Make your concerns our concerns mm -hmm. and continue to pray for each and every one of us until such a time the Lord allows us to come back together with us again. Yeah. Until we meet again, I just want to say have a fine and a blessed evening. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.